Now that Donald Trump has announced a third run for the White House, the big question tonight is whether we're going to see him on the campaign trail as fellow Republican Herschel Walker faces Democrat Senator Raphael Warnock in that Senate runoff and how his announcement can actually impact the runoff's results. Brittany Klein-Peter is taking a closer look, talking to Republicans campaigning with Walker today in McDonough. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, you vote for me, I'm going to help us all get to the promised land. God bless you guys. Thank you guys so much. God bless. Herschel Walker spoke to a crowd of supporters for about 30 minutes today in McDonough. However, he never addressed Donald Trump's third run for president. But former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, who was there to support Walker, acknowledged members of the Republican Party had encouraged Trump to wait until after the Senate runoff to announce his campaign. Well, for his own reasons, he didn't. So now that he didn't, thank goodness he talked about Herschel in his speech. And I thought it was uh, an extraordinary sort of re-emergence of the Donald Trump that America fell in love with in 2016. While political analysts have speculated Trump's announcement could re-energize Democratic turnout in the Senate runoff, Huckabee says he doesn't believe it will negatively impact Walker. I think the president has been very helpful to uh, Herschel, uh, helping him you know, get a good start. I mean, he certainly doesn't need me. He doesn't need anybody. He's just stinking good out there on the stump. One of the best I've seen. Trump is the one who convinced Walker to enter the race in the first place. While he never joined Walker on the campaign trail this fall, the two have remained out with Walker working to reignite the MAGA base in Georgia. Some people don't like his style, the way he knocks down obstacles that get in the way of his goals. People on the opposing team didn't like when I ran over them either, but that's how you get the job done. Trump's announcement comes just three weeks before the runoff on December 6th. Warnock beat Walker by less than 1% in last week's contest. 11 Alive political analyst Dr. Andre Gillespie told us regardless of whether Trump is more involved in Walker's campaign now, his announcement will likely be a factor in the outcome of the runoff. Donald Trump is a wild card and sometimes says things that could actually end up undermining uh, the person for whom he is serving as a surrogate. Incumbent Raphael Warnock has not directly responded to President in Trump's announcement, only tweeting last night that voters may be focused on Donald Trump, but need to focus on Georgia. Reporting in McDonough, Brittany Klein-Peter, 11 Alive News.